excited. Today's my first day as an intern at the animal hospital. I just arrived and will be at the village soon. I'm looking forward to helping all those animals so much. To display the entire text instantly, press the button indicated at the top right above the small map. In the future, you can check here to see which button you need to press for a particular action. The small map at the bottom of the screen helps me find my way. In its middle, there's a colorful arrow. That's my position. I also carry a big map, which I can open and close when I want to. My position is also shown as a colorful arrow on the big map. Now, I should go to the place marked with the exclamation point icon, because a task awaits me there, and it's important that I do it. Right now, I'll close the map again. I can move forward, left, backward, and right. And I can run fast, too. I can also jump. And I can even sneak. Who knows? It might come in handy. The heads-up display can be hidden or shown using the controls. If you hide it, you will not see important information. So think wisely about when to hide it and when to show it again. At the top of the screen, you can see my level, which is at zero right now. At the top right, you can see the current and maximum amount of experience points. For each mission that I complete successfully, I get experience points, which fill up my level bar. Once my level bar is full, I level up. I also have an inventory, where I can carry items around with me. Go on, open it. At the moment, my inventory is completely empty. When I pick up items, you'll find them here. Let's close the inventory for now. I should go to the location marked on the map by the exclamation point icon. Time to get going! I wonder what I'll find there.
Hello there, I'm Edward. Are you new? Hi. Yeah, I'm new and I'm headed for the animal hospital because I'm doing my internship there. Oh, that's great. Everybody here loves animals, and quite a few of us even keep our own. Sounds lovely. I love animals too. I'm studying to become a vet. Awesome. But look, the pretty picture on the information board has been ruined. How could this happen? Oh, I see what you mean. That's a real shame. Somebody would need to search the area and find the missing picture fragments. Then they could reassemble it. Maybe one day the pretty picture will be whole again. Sure, I can keep an eye out for them. And if I happen to find a picture fragment, I'll put it back here where it belongs. Really? That's so kind of you. The villagers will love you for it. Oh, it goes without saying. I'm happy if I can help. Great. Find the first piece of the picture then. It should be somewhere here, near the information board. Once you have it, come back and insert it into the picture. Got it. I'll start looking then. Let's see if this is going to work, and if you manage to restore our pretty picture. Oh, what's that? It's a piece of the pretty picture! If I walk through the picture fragment, I'll automatically pick it up and put it in my inventory. I found the first piece of the picture. Picture fragments are items you can collect, so they're shown in your inventory. Let's see if the picture fragment is in my inventory. You can see that my inventory now contains a picture fragment with the number 1. The number 1 means that I have one picture fragment in my inventory. Now, I should go back to the information board and put the picture fragment back where it belongs. Back already? Yeah, I found the first piece of the picture. Can you imagine? Great. In that case, insert the fragment into the picture. I hope this is going to work. Hooray! It worked! I restored the fragment to the picture! Outstanding! You've proven that it is possible to repair the picture. Find four more picture fragments and reassemble the picture. They should be somewhere in the park. Once you've reached level two, you can start your internship at the vet. Right. I have the final picture fragment, which I need for level 2 in my inventory. I'll go to the information board. I can hardly wait to finally start my internship.
Look at that. You restored the first five missing fragments to the picture. Great. Whenever you have some time and feel like a change, you can look for more picture fragments and insert them here. It would be awesome if you could complete the picture before you finish your internship. You achieved level two, which means you can now go to the animal hospital and begin your internship. Congratulations. I hope you have a great internship. Hospital. Its location is marked by an icon on the map. Welcome to my animal hospital. I take care of the locals' pets, Farmer Harris's farm animals, and sometimes even wild animals. Hi, I made it, finally. I'm really looking forward to doing my internship here. It all sounds so interesting. I'm guessing you want to start on your internship right away. Yeah, I sure do. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Then let's get started. You've arrived at a good time. I've got some work for you. Oh, I'm so excited. I was about to go and gather five healing herbs, but that's something you could do for me. It will help you get to know the area. Walk into the icon to start the task. What are the five healing herbs you want me to gather? Gather one of each of the blue, red, yellow, white, and violet healing herbs. Got it. Where can I find them? They grow alongside my garden pond, down at the river, alongside the lake, at my little paddock, and at the edge of the forest. What should I do with the healing herbs once I've found all five of them? Bring them to me in the animal hospital. You'll probably find me in the dispensary. Got it. I'll start this minute. That must be one of the healing herbs. When I walk through it, I add it to my inventory.
Yay! I found all five healing herbs. Time to get these to the vet at the animal hospital. Hi, I'm back. I gathered all five healing herbs. Excellent work. From now on, whenever I need healing herbs, you can pick them for me. Place the healing herbs on the table.
I'm going over to Farmer Harris now. Please get the container and the spoon from the dispensary, and then come to the farm as well. They're the container and the spoon, the things I need to bring. Now, I should get myself to Farmer Harris. The location is marked by an icon on the map. Right. What kind of trouble are you having with your chickens? The chickens' droppings are yellow and very thin. What's causing it? I'm worried about them. That sounds like diarrhea. I'll examine the chickens, and we'll take a fresh stool sample to examine in the lab. There are several ways chickens can get diarrhea, and we need to know the exact cause in order to apply the right treatment. Use the spoon to collect a fresh sample of chicken stool. Farmer Harris will likely know where you can find fresh stool. I'll head back to the animal hospital and get everything ready for our analysis. You should find fresh chicken stool everywhere inside the fence. I hope it isn't anything serious. Please hurry. I'm working as fast as I can. I promise. Thanks for picking it up. You're a great worker. I need to get this to the vet. Quick!
I got the stool sample. That was fast. Excellent. Put it down next to the microscope. Histomonas. They are parasites which can be transmitted by earthworms, and from there, to free-range chickens. Histomonas. I see. Interesting. The chickens require charcoal tablets as an immediate measure against diarrhea, and a therapy which uses juice of oregano. Tell Farmer Harris he needs to replace the entire bedding in the chicken shed and swap out all drinking and feed troughs to reduce the risk of contagion. Now, go get a pack of charcoal tablets and a bottle of juice of oregano from the dispensary. Perfect. You brought the charcoal tablets and juice of oregano. Both will help the chickens with their diarrhea. Take the medicine to Farmer Harris.